Ayo, hey what be one? I'm really sick right now, so I, I apologize for that. I don't know how bad it's going to be. I may have to cough or, you know, do all that gross sick shit. I mean, honestly, I I have good hygiene. Like, you know, I shower every day and, you know, wash my hands after going there. All, all the normal shit, but I don't, like, avoid germs. Like, you know, if some, some of my food falls on the ground, I don't give a shit. I'll just eat it because, you know, I, I figure that, uh, <clears throat> you know, your body, um, if you understand how your immune system works, and I get fucking sniped by this guy again. Fuck you, dude! <sighs> I'm raging watching back at this, but this gameplay ends up being pretty good. Um, I finally got a model MOA. But anyway, um, your body, like, builds up a library of antibodies to, um, to different illnesses and stuff. And if you expose yourself to more of them, there's a bigger chance of your body to uh, be exposed to, uh, or building up those antibodies, right? So that's why you'll notice a lot of, like, the hugest clean freaks, like, you know, the guys who freaking wear gloves and and wash their hands every five minutes with hand sanitizer and stuff, are the ones that get sick the most often. It's because their body's not used to it. So I don't get sick very often at all. Like, I have a cold right now, and this is probably the first, like, actual sickness I've had in, like, two, maybe three years. I don't know. It's been a long time. Um, I I think the last time... I think I probably faked sick. Like, I, I think I was immature enough, recently enough, that I faked sick before actually being sick since this. Um, which is, you know, that's such a high school thing to do, you know, I'm past that, I'm, uh, I'm graduated, so, you know, it's a high school thing to do, I can look down on all you high schoolers now, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but, uh, yeah, so no, I'm, this is just bad, I mean, I don't know, it's a bad cold, but anyway, uh, I'm back again, three weeks, uh, I don't think I've posted any face-off gameplay, which is kind of surprising, because if I had been posting a lot, this is mostly what I'd be posting, because it's mostly what I've been playing, um, this, this face-off playlist came very nicely in time with the extremely retarded Cyrep Pro patch. I'm sure you guys all know about it. I'm kind of behind the curve on talking about this, but, I mean, the sound horn that goes on in this game and any game I play on face, on face-off is just so rampant. Like, I'm just, I'm just sound whoring for days on this shit. I don't care if you have dead silence. If you have Cyrep on, I'm gonna crouch walk everywhere and play like a douchebag because it's the only way you can beat Cyrep really. Um... And luckily in this game, you know, you, there's two types of bad players you run into. There's the kind that um, play really aggressively and are just bad, and they run at you, and that's what these kids are doing, and it allows me to use Syrup Pro to its full ability. And then there's the bad kids who uh, treat this game like it's real life and decide to sit in corners and, you know, lay down in weird bushes and stuff to wait for you. And that just makes the game not only slow-paced, but also extremely, you know, just a task to play, I suppose, is the best way of putting it. Um, but luckily this game, you know, I've been playing in the afternoon mostly COD because I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but like if you play COD in the nighttime when all of the people are done work and it's just, I don't know what it is. I guess just adults are just bigger assholes in general because you can tell that like when it's all, you know, kids who are, uh, who are home from school and all the adults are at work, like, I mean, <clears throat> I have a job but it's in the nighttime. So it's like, you know, it's a waiting job. So, um, I don't, I don't get a lot of time in, in the in the nighttime, but in the daytime, it's all just like, you know, it seems like it's all kids or something, because they're just really bad, I don't know, uh, nighttime douchebags, daytime, and I have so much fun, I've been playing a lot of Modern for 2 recently, I, <clears throat> at the end, I don't know, I, both Black Ops and this game, I've kind of gone back to it at the end of it, uh, I wish I could record, <clears throat> I heard about some new recording device that allows you to record in HDMI, you guys all know my problem if you're long time subs of mine, but apparently there's some new stuff coming out, so if Black Ops 2 is good, which it really, in my opinion, does not look like it's going to be, what the hell are they thinking? Oh, God, I don't even want to start on that. <clears throat> it's going to be such a camp fest, it's ridiculous. How you can get other kill streaks by people getting kills with your UAV up, like, well, what's going to stop some guy from getting three kills, putting up a UAV, and sitting in a corner and getting a Blackbird? Ugh, maybe, the, I hope the Blackbird's like the advanced UAV in this game. Um... But yeah, no, if Black Ops 2 is good, then I'll probably end up hooking up that uh, new capture card just so I can <clears throat> record live, um, do some live commentaries. I've always wanted to do live commentaries. I've done a few, but it's it's bad because I have to play on a different TV than normal, so I end up playing sh crappier than I usually do, and, you know, adjusting to a new TV is, uh, is pretty tough. But, you know, everyone talks about how overpowered Assassin was in this game and Ghost in the other game. <coughs> Sorry. But, uh... The way I look at it, I don't think those are overpowered. I really think it's the UAV that's overpowered. I think that's one of the reasons why I like Modern Warfare 2 so much, is just because, um, 
no one really uses UAV, and you don't need to use cold blooded. No one uses UAV, and I love it because I, I really feel that's how it should be. Just no UAV whatsoever. Why is that even in the game? I mean, it works in COD Four, I guess, but even in COD Four, it's annoying as hell when you know you have a crappy team and the enemy team keeps getting UAVs. I just, you know, I think it should be reactionary, less you know people staring at their radar, waiting for you to walk around corners and stuff. I know that's extremely hypocritical because in this game I'm playing like a sound horny douchebag. But, you know, I'm for two when I'm in a lobby. I don't even care if I have half the other teams using Ninja. If no one's calling in UAVs, I'm still going to do better than them just because I've played the game longer. Usually. Obviously, there's exceptions. I'm not the best player ever. Get the Moab here. Finally got a model Moab. But you know what I mean? Like, at least at least then, if they're not waiting for me to walk around corners because of a UAV, then I feel outplayed. I'm like, wow, you know, this guy's got a better shot than me. Good job. He deserves to kill me. That's how it should be. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, just looking back, Call of Duty was definitely a lot more fun when I was a bad player and didn't know what the hell was going on, because uh, you don't, I mean, this game's made for bad players, it's got a pretty steep learning curve, I guess you could say, so the majority of players are probably bad, I don't want to say that, I don't know, I know the average kill-to-death ratio is one, if you don't take into account suicides and, uh, and, um, <clears throat> dashboarding, but, I don't know, I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. But uh, how have you guys been? You guys all uh, all ready to go back to school or work or you know keep on working if you're not uh, not in school? Again, this is what I this is what I bring up when I have nothing to talk about. <laughs> I'm such a I'm such a great entertainment provider, aren't I? I uh, don't post a video in three weeks, and when I do, I have nothing in particular to talk about. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm waiting on Black Ops 2. I don't know. Why don't you guys leave, leave a comment or something telling telling me what uh, what's up with Black Ops 2? What do you guys think? Are you gonna get it? Uh, get the game? Or are you gonna try and get it early? Or I don't know what the hell that kid was doing. I think he was like he set up a little trap there, like he's gonna wait for someone to show up on the on the portable radar and then blow up the C4. Sneaky noob, you sneaky noob bastard. Uh, but yeah, anyway, if you guys are struggling in Call of Duty and raging too much, I strongly suggest to trying to uh, play in the afternoon. Um, it, it's very soothing. I've had a lot of fun. Like I got some, even in Model for Two. Like uh, I had like a 98 and two dominate regular domination game uh, two days ago in Model for Two in the afternoon. Unfortunately, I couldn't record it as I've already gone through. But <clears throat> you know, that's just uh, that's just what's up, I guess. Um, as for what's going on, uh, you guys, uh, been following, following the news or anything? I don't know. I, I'm trying to, like, <clears throat> bring up nothing that's, like, you know, too, not gonna offend anyone, but apparently there's a bunch of, uh, deformed crabs and shit showing up in fishermen's nets in, in the Gulf, yeah. Interesting stuff, am I right? Serious, but not particularly interesting. Anyway, sorry for this random ass commentary. Um, I'll probably post another one in the next few days. I'm feeling... You know, I have nothing to do since I'm sick. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a good one as always. Peace.